January 31st was transfer deadline day for European soccer, ending one of the most expensive and exciting January transfer windows ever. Here to help us break down the madness is our soccer expert, Jenny Berman. So Jenny, mm -hmm. let's talk the Liverpool deal that just happened. One of the biggest stories was Felipe Coutinho leaving Liverpool to go to Barcelona. Right. And then they got Virgil van Dijk. Do, they th do you think they lost more than they gained or gained um, more than they lost? I think, honestly, the addition of Salah has changed their team entirely to the point where you're like, you know what, selling Coutinho isn't the worst thing that could happen. Yeah. Whereas when they were talking about doing it in the summer, they didn't know what they were going to have. It was like, if Liverpool sells Coutinho, they're giving up. Right. But now you can say it was good. They got a lot of money out of it. I don't like how they invested the money, though. Okay. They did need Virgil van Dijk. He's a great player. But 75 million pounds for him, which is basically the majority of the Coutinho money, right. that's a lot for a center back, and that's a lot for the fact that it doesn't fix their defense. It's one piece of a complete mess. Absolutely. What else do you think they need? I think they need to fix the rest of the team. They need to buy a, the whole rest of the back <laughs> line, a new goalkeeper. Absolutely. They've got a lot of problems back there. The offense is not their issue. And that's and kind of the problem with Liverpool, it seems, is that they always focus on offense. And I don't right. know if that's just Jurgen Klopp's mentality, but Mo Salah's doing great. Yeah, he's doing great. You don't need anyone else right now. <laughs> I mean, they do, though. That's the thing. And you have their best defensive midfielder, holding midfielder, is Jordan Henderson, who just isn't good enough to be in that position. Absolutely. And they just need to redo their entire defense and one piece and spending that much money on one piece when that Coutinho money could be used to really invest into that. Mm -hmm. I think that's bad business. Okay, so moving on from Liverpool now, who do you think lost the most in the Premier League besides Liverpool losing Coutinho? I thought Chelsea losing Batshuayi was probably the biggest mistake. I know it's only a loan deal, but if they want to continue to be in top four, and they're falling out of it with two really embarrassing losses, honestly, yeah. Bournemouth and Watford, those are not teams and that they Chelsea some should. Goals. They're not teams that Chelsea should be losing to, right. and they needed goals, and they sold Diego Costa, mm -hmm. and for doing that, who he wasn't part of the team really anymore, but the fact that they have no replacement for him, and then are selling another striker, loaning out mm -hmm. that doesn't work and Giroud while he's okay he's not really fixing the void and he's older and the fact that a crosstown rival was selling him right. should show and that the this isn't this isn't the right guy for the team this isn't the one who shows to make a big move and Batshuayi scored two goals in his Dortmund debut so right. that's what Chelsea could have used. Is Conte going to be in trouble this offseason? I mean you have to think so yeah. didn't do good business over the summer or the winter and Chelsea does not look good at all absolutely not looking like the champions no. that they should be looking like so final question what was your biggest surprise from the transfer window so far I thought the biggest surprise was Manchester United getting Alexis Sanchez wow. and then Henrik Mkhitaryan going back to Arsenal hmm. first off you don't always see straight player for player swaps very often so that was surprising but it also for a long time looked like Manchester City was in on Alexis and he would really fit they've had some injury troubles they know they can afford his salary that they know they're making this title push and could be making a Champions League push as well absolutely and so if you're saying that that's probably the team that's poised to win the most silverware you'd think that that's where he would want to go considering he spent a lot of time at Arsenal which hasn't won any major trophy in his whole time there right, right. and so I'm surprised he went to Manchester United and I'm surprised that they gave up Mkhitaryan who hasn't been the best for him but they need creative midfielders. They need more creative players, I think, Manchester United. Yeah. And to give that up to a rival in Arsenal, who and then Mkhitaryan goes and has three assists in his debut, Absolutely. it just shows that I'm not sure if that was the best move either when, honestly, they could have just paid the transfer money and kept both players, I right. think. Seems that they don't really need much on that left side either with right. Marcus Rashford and Martial already fighting for position. So they're seeing a little yeah. bit bulk over there. My surprise was Obama Yang picking Arsenal, honestly. Yeah, that was a weird move, too. Yeah, I was honestly surprised that Arsenal was able to lock down the deal. You'd think that he'd want to go to a Champions League club, and not, and he can't even play in the Europa League. So, yeah. first off, he's just there for the Premier League, and you know that Arsenal isn't going to win the title. Maybe they win one of the domestic cups that they do win and right. have won recently. But, I mean, to me, why not go to a big Champions League club, some place to really show that Absolutely. this Unless is Unless he wants guy. to make a name for himself somewhere, but I'm wondering how the pairing of him and Alexandre Lacazette is going to be. And also, you have to say to Arsenal, like, they just bought Lacazette, exactly. and now they're buying another striker and breaking their club record again. Who says what their plans yeah. are for him next? Right. It's going to be an exciting rest of the season, but that's all from the pitch. Mason's going to be right back to discuss a different type of football.